Hello, math friends. Today we're talking about area. My friend Abby just found out that she gets to take the baby's room all to herself. I get to do what? You get to have the baby's room all to yourself. Woohoo! Yes, I know, it's very exciting. So Abby's going to want to decorate this room and paint the walls. But to paint the wall, we need to know the area of the wall so we know how much paint we need. What is area? Area is the number of square units needed to cover a two-dimensional space. And it's the kind of information you might want if you're painting walls or tiling floors and so on. So what if we took that wall and chopped it into equal-sized squares and then see if we can find the total number of squares? Now you might remember when we did arrays that we found out how many rows we had and how many columns we had, and then we could find by adding how many squares we have in all. So there'd be 10 in the first row, 10 in the next row, so 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. We'd know we have 70 squares. Well, in painting a wall, 70 squares isn't super helpful. But if we know the actual dimensions of the wall, like 7 feet and 10 feet, and then we know that each square is one square foot, then we would know that that 70 squares is really 70 square feet. And that's useful information. But maybe we don't want to add all the time, adding, adding, adding. Do you remember that there was another way to find the total number of objects when you knew the number of rows and the number of columns? I'll help you remember, we multiplied. So we can still do that. We're just multiplying seven feet by 10 feet. So we discover that we indeed have 70 square feet. Now Abby can take that wall and paint it with clouds or an ocean or lion heads. I don't know. Have a good time, Abby. We're going to keep practicing area. Here we want to know which rugs have an area of 24 square feet. Let's check these together. This first one we see has 1, 2, 3, 4, five feet across the bottom and one, two, three, four, five feet across the side. And we've just learned that we can either add five five times or we can use multiplication. So five feet times five feet is 25 square feet, but we're looking for ones that are 24 square feet, so moving on. This next one has one, two, three, four feet. And the other side is one, two, three, four, five, six feet. And four times six is looking a lot better as an option of being 24 square feet. Hooray. Right. Okay, we just have these last two to check. Here I have three feet. And across the bottom here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven feet. Three times seven is 21, so this is not going to be one of our answers. Over here we have one, two, three feet. And across the bottom, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight feet. And three times eight is 24. So this one is also 24 square feet. So two of the rugs match the 24 square feet. Let's try another. So we've got a tiled floor here, and each little tile is one square foot. And they're asking for the area. So, I mean, I could see these well enough to count them up, but we're past just counting squares. We're big multipliers now, so one, two, three, four feet here, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven feet here, and we know that we could add seven four times, or we can just multiply four feet by seven feet for 28 square feet. Fabulous, and now you are an expert at area.